Welcome back to another episode in our HIV and AIDS series with me, Evita, and Dr. Glory Alexander of the ASHA Foundation. Doctor, let's say you had unprotected sex with someone and you want to get tested. Now, should you wait a few months before getting tested or what exactly is the protocol? Uh, when we do a test to see if a person has HIV infection, we don't actually test for the virus. We test for the antibody to the virus. Okay. And this antibody is not produced immediately. It may take about 12 weeks for the antibody to be produced. So if you feel that you've been at risk and you want your HIV test to be done immediately, it's really difficult. We have to wait for at least eight to 12 weeks before we can do the HIV antibody test. And that's the screening test for HIV infection. Okay. So doctor, I've heard a lot about false positives and false negatives. Can you explain a little more about that? Now, HIV antibody tests, we have to look at the sensitivity and the specificity of each test. And in India, we've reached a stage where it's pretty good. You know, the sensitivity and specificity vary between 98% to 100%. Mm. So the chances of false negatives and false positives are pretty low. The second thing is that we don't tell a person that he or she is HIV positive just based on one test. We have to do three tests okay. using three different test kits or three different antigens. And only if all those three tests are positive can we say that a person is HIV positive. Okay. Uh, the main um, area where you can get false positives is if you test a newborn baby, a baby okay. that's just born to a HIV positive mother, you will get a false positive test on that baby if you do a HIV antibody test because the mother's antibodies have come to the baby. But okay. the baby is not really infected. Okay. So in babies, we really need to do the antigen test. Look for the virus rather than for the antibody because it can take up to, you know, six months or even 18 months for these antibodies to disappear from the baby's blood. Okay, so if somebody had to get tested, where would they go ideally? Now, HIV testing is available in all hospitals, most nursing homes, and then we have the integrated counseling and testing center set up by the government, where a person who's been at risk can go and have themselves tested. The important thing to remember that is that HIV testing has to always be accompanied by counseling. And uh, what we refer to as pre-test counseling, where we actually of assess the risk of the event that the person is worried about, the sexual risk or the blood transfusion or whatever it is. And then we assess the knowledge of the patient who's come for testing as to how, how much idea he has about HIV AIDS so that we can fill in those gaps in knowledge. And then also how he can prevent himself from getting HIV infected in the future if he's not been infected from this episode. And we need to have the consent of the patient, of the person. So it's very important that they do it at designated um, HIV testing centers where not only testing is available, but also counseling. Okay. Thank you so much for that very helpful information, doctor. You guys subscribe to our channel and we'll see you soon.